remember many years ago I invested in a lot of jewelry and I also remember when I needed to raise funds for a particular job I had to carry out, my jewelry came in as collateral. I think it's too expensive to be changing bags going with a trend, so I just buy timeless pieces that 10 years later, they still look very trendy. I've definitely been lucky enough to um, have inherited certain pieces and certain bags um, from my mother. The beautiful thing about timeless pieces is that you wear them with pride. You don't feel like, oh, they're not current, they're not new. So my mom influenced my style um, by, I think, just being um, experimental from when I was younger. She had a very diverse wardrobe and it gave me clarity um, to understand what I liked and what I didn't like. Do we shop together? No. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> I think, I think generally we're quite different when it comes to the idea of shopping. I'm not, I'm not a huge shopper. Um, my mother, on the other hand, treats it as a, uh, as a form of exercise. I can shop from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. when the shops are closing yeah. and they're like, Madam, and they'll come out with like 20 yeah, bags. I don't have time for that. I, don't, I, don't, I can't do that. I love polka dots. I love playful clothes, a lot of pink. I guess for me, it's I, I like a good androgynous look because I'm a very last minute person. So it's whatever is available last minute and I guess it challenges me to be um, creative that way. I don't get to read Sonia's wardrobe as often as I would like to. But I think generally it's a partnership. She sometimes comes to my wardrobe, sometimes I go to hers. It's not balanced, it's lopsided, but you know, it's a partnership nonetheless.